my friends welcome back to my channel on 200 CAD models in FreeCAD series today I want to work on exercise 18 exercise 18 is one sketch job but it's an interesting one so let's go ahead and then start calibrating the image before we go further and I am going to say this is 88 okay and it's at 50% opacity so that will do I want to keep that on XY plane there when I was working on this model for the first time I saw some irregularities in the measurements so let's go ahead and then verify our calibration so we just calibrated for 88 which means all other dimensions on this technical drawing should be pretty close to our drawing so let's go ahead and see if this dimension that we just calibrated on 88 is valid in here so that's pretty close 89.78 um, we'll take that how about this length it's in a so we we calibrated in a, in a horizontal direction let's take this vertical direction how about this I take so this is 32 right so it looks good. But if we go a little further, the 64, which should become around like 64, it is 68.50. So looks like this image is, I mean, the idea is there, but the dimensions are not presented uh, correctly on this on this drawing so in the traditional way we cannot use this technical drawing in our advantage I will have to just look at it and then draw the object to make it easy and also to shine some light on our another workbench on tech draw what I did was I created this technical drawing on my own um, so let me go ahead and then pull it in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and then hide this so I created the technical drawing which is the same thing in a different format uh, mine was kind of little clearer without any color so that way we can actually understand a little bit better so I created this technical drawing that's what I'll be using today to develop the model but if you ask me how did I do this technical drawing building that will be my next video in my next video I will work on the tech draw workbench where I'll show how to create a technical drawing out of a of an, of an object so that's that's for tomorrow today let's go ahead and keep working on this exercise 18 so this is our new technical drawing I want to calibrate this one uh, with this longest dimension that I have of the plan which is say 24 plus 16 plus 32 so let's verify our calibration by just verify that it is working so this should be pretty close to 108 which is pretty close to 100 so our our uh, calibration is working let's verify another dimension say this should be pretty close to 88 so that's pretty close to 88 so so it is working and let's make the transparent 50% uh, and I want to keep that on do I want to keep that on XY plane? Now that's a question. Now on top view is XY plane, but I want to use the revolution, this revolution um, revolve tool to create the object, which I will be using this drawing, this figure, which should be on something else other than XY plane. So let's say XZ plane. We want to place that on XZ plane. All right. So XZ plane is the front view and and that's what we want to draw 
and as you can see this image and this image kind of flipped because of the section view it's not a big deal we will just follow this lead as the symmetric area but we'll explain a little bit more when I will I work on the next video on how to actually make these images so let's go ahead and then start sketching on XZ plane remember it is on XZ plane if you forgot which plane it is this little um, axis cross in the corner will help so it is on XZ plane so we want to draw on this plane XZ right well before drawing I have to update the center so let's take it a step back bring the axis cross here and then transform it we want to take it to the bottom side of this sketch right that's that's pretty close take that axis cross away and let's start sketching XZ plane I just want to sketch this this part so we won't have to do the both parts we'll have to sketch only one part so let's take the polyline and first of all I'm just going to do the outline and then come back to do now this part is kind of unclear in the original technical drawing so what I assumed that it is this line is 30 degree angle with the horizontal the, the following line is 60 degree and this is vertical and these two lines are equal in length and the height of this is 2 the total height is 6 millimeter so this 6 millimeter and 2 millimeter are given these two angles has been assumed so I want to follow the outline for now and then we'll come back to actually assign those angles later on now this is a hole but we want we don't want to do that right now we want to keep making the whole thing okay I try to recreate this drawing as much as possible but there could be a little bit of uh, discrepancy with one, one or two units but the idea is the main thing that we are putting focus on not the exact copycat kind of thing so uh, I hope you understand that part of the of the video alright so drawing part is done let's put some constraint uh, th this height is 24 plus 16 plus 32 millimeters which is 72 millimeters so we, we place that uh, the distance actually let me keep it here the distance between this point and this point is will be half of 48 so that's half of 48 48 over 2 all right we got that the distance between this point and this axis is half of 72 so 72 divided by 2 so we got that alright this length we don't know yet but we know that in the corner it says 4 millimeter chamfer at 45 degree angle so that is this length this line is at 45 degree angle with this line so we select both of those lines and then say angle well it's coming more than 45 but that's like 180 minus 45 so 180 minus 45 that's 135 essentially it's 45 degree if you measure it from here so that we got and and it says four millimeter chamfer which means the distance between this point and this point like horizontal is 40 four millimeter as well as the distance between this point and this point vertically is four millimeter so that's four millimeter vertically if it is 4 millimeter in vertically here and if it's at a 45 degree angle the horizontal distance will be 45 millimeter as well uh, 4 millimeter as well so we do the same thing with this one we take these two make an angle uh, 135 is the one that we are looking for 
I wish it came to 45 directly, but Freecat works in a mysterious way. And between these two points, the vertical distance is 4 millimeter. Right, we got that one sorted out. So we got most of the dimensions applied. How about this? This point and this point, the distance is 32, right? 32. So we got that one. Oh, I, I, I took it wrong, actually. This point and this point. That's 32, okay? So we got that one. This distance is 16. And this distance is 24. Oh, I think it's given because 72 is there. So we didn't have to do that. Now this, this corner tricky part. So as I remember, this is two millimeter vertically. That's two, right? This line is at 45 degree angle. Was it 45? No, that's 60. So this line is at 60 degree angle with the horizontal. And this line is at 30 degree angle with the horizontal. So we got these two. And this point and this point are six millimeter apart all right so it's still something okay we can make these two equal that was the assumption that i initially told in the beginning of the video so we can make these two equal and that constrains everything so we do the same in here we can make this vertical right we can make these two equal and we can make these two point in the same vertical plane. We can do the same. We can make these two point in the same vertical plane, right? And these two point in the same vertical plane. What else? We can assign the angle. This will be 60 degree angle. And we can say this will be where is that 30 degree angle all right so now there is only one degree of freedom which is this length uh, we can see the total diameter at the widest part is 108 millimeter so the distance between this point and this axis, if I can select the axis, the distance between them is 108 divided by 2. So that constrains everything and it becomes green and then that's what we are shooting for. So we got that. Now we will do the revolve part, the revolution. Let me go ahead and then rewrite this sketch as sketch. I'm say vertical section. All right. So we got that section and now let's go ahead and then click on the revolve. Take a moment to look at what we will have to do next. Where we are in with respect to the axis. So this vertical line is what we are trying to revolve around and which is Z axis. So come and look for Z and select on that. If it is, if there is a one next to it, that means Z is selected. And hit OK. There it is. So we got our main part built. It was pretty simple. Drawing the sketch and then hitting the revolve thing. The next, we will have to do this holes. We say, it says, the technical drawing says we have six diameter eight holes so number of six uh, so diameter will be eight uh, there will be six holes and one of them holes is on the horizontal axis so two of them are at horizontal axis rest of them are like equally distributed and this is the perfect um, work for lattice workbench so let's go 
well before we go to lattice we'll have to create the unit right and I want to create a cylinder right and what is that oh there it is the cylinder came at the corner at the at the center of our workspace we want to take this cylinder up here and remember that cylinder will this cylinder we will cut it out so it can be a little longer doesn't matter but it, it has to be the same diameter that we want the diameter is 8 right so radius is 4 got that height doesn't matter as long as it's a little bit extra so I'm just gonna say 25 and placement we'll have to take this one to there so this line as you can see from the top view is 88 millimeter diameter which is means from the center it is 44 millimeter away in the x direction so we come here at x and say 44 we're almost there we'll have to pull it up a little bit which is z direction so let's put some value in there z i'm going to say that looks perfect so we got our one unit uh, of cylinder there and we can use the lattice workbench to replicate that five more times and and then make the cut so let's go to lattice 2 if you are uh, watching this video for the first time in this series I have explained the basic latest uh, lattice 2 workbench uh, activities in one of the previous videos I'll put the link in the description so please look at that video on lattice 2 basic and then uh, come back to this operation all right so we'll have to use the polar array because it's a circular area and then let me put on okay there see here's the object and let me hide this one i want to make total six of those so come to here six and there is one in there now the next thing is pretty easy i want to select the cylinder and hit polar array and come here find this button which is populate with copies and then we see those are spaced uh, far away we wanted to have them on the same radius in in this area but they're kind of like you know away from from our area what we want to do is i want to hit this populate polar array with cylinder this this the six polar array not the original one this this populated one and then come here referencing say first item that way we have six of our cylinders placed at our desired location and now let's go ahead and then hit, hit these two items we have six polar arrays just to be safe on the solid part i want to make them a uh, union which is a solid or we could we could do compound and then make a solid part just make it union so this is the one i want to rename that as say six holes six holes and then let's bring back our original body and i want to keep that i want to delete that uh, we can do the boolean operation here cut voila we got our object pretty simple so we did use lattice workbench uh, in our advantage in this simple object building and it looks pretty good so i hope you liked this video Tomorrow, I will explain how I created this technical drawing uh, from this object. So I will be using this same object to create a similar technical drawing. Um, and uh, I, I, I invite you to watch this video tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.